and good afternoon. Today, Shahinia, Sindhya and I are going to be talking about what is integrated reporting, what is the usual regulatory report and what are the main benefits of integrated reporting. So what is integrated reporting? It has been developed and promoted by the International Integrated Reporting Council. It is defined as the process that is founded on the principle on the principle of integrated thinking, which results in a periodic integrated report by an organization with the purpose of value creation over time and communications related to the aspects of this value creation. It aligns the visions of the organization. It aligns the visions of this organization to achieving the goals and strategies that help in enhancing the risk management. It isn't confined only to the performance reporting, but it also includes reporting of value creation strategies and the processes in an organization. Now I will briefly mention the six aspects of capital, namely financial, manufactured capital, intellectual capital, human capital, social and relationship capital, and the natural capital. The usual regulatory report, it has got a broader spectrum than all other types of reports. It may not provide the main information what investors are looking for and if the information is too broad and has too much information about what the investor is not looking for, the investor will not be interested in going through the entire report. For example, a corporate social responsibility report too long and complex. If the any report has to be short, sweet and concise and to the point. The report should not beat around the bush and has to convey what it wants to in a clear and short manner. The regulatory reports also have compliance burdens. Businesses face stringent compliance burdens imposed by the regulatory bodies which forces them to comply with these regulatory rules. Failure to, failure to do so might cause the businesses to become liable for the lack of proper disclosure. The capital market. There's a situation of short-term pessimism in the capital market. Investors in the capital market are unsure about the market standing of the business due to the broad spectrum of the usual regulatory report way of communication. Different managers have different ways of saying the same message. They use different terminologies and different ways of looking at the same situation, which also comes about as an issue for the regulatory report. Now, Sindhya will be explaining about the benefits of integrated reporting. Thank you, Ashwarya. Now, I will talk about one of the benefits of integrated reporting. Integrated reporting is a principle-based way of thinking and reporting which helps the business think holistically about their future business strategies and business plans. They also have a long-term view of how this would impact the business and resources the business relies on. For this, integrated reporting uses the six capitals which helps in creating value in the long term. The integrated reporting framework helps organizations measure the six capitals, namely financial, manufacture, intellectual, human, social and relationship, and nature. When we use this form of framework for reporting, it ensures that business are more forward-looking and helps them thinking about their future business strategies within the external environment. Different capitals help com companies to make informed decisions, identify new opportunities, and better manage the key business risks. The management, which is judged on the basis of 
effectiveness that cause containment which will ensure that the source are allocated towards integrated reporting. Even though this as a uh, test button, which is unnecessary overhead on the business, hence the mean source will, will be allocated to the minimum possible, rather than being focused on developing a new understanding of a value creation model. Value creation is enabled by integrated thinking, a major part of integrated reporting, which focuses on breaking down internal issues between people and departments, so that the organization can better understand the key elements of the business. When these elements come together, it is good for the company as it reduces the conflicts between the internal and external environment, which later translates into a key performance indicator, allowing the organization to perform better. Hence, business goals in the long run are achieved. Now, Sunilia will talk about the other benefit of integrated reporting. Thank you, Tinya. Now, I will talk about the another benefits of integrated reporting. Integrated reporting helps to end incentive system that perpetuates short-term thinking and decision-making. Companies would now produce reports that are more aligned to modern-day business model by looking at the value creation of the business over time. This would help reshape the problem of short-term shareholder-oriented mentality and the excessive focus on financial statements. As investors would now look at the different aspects of the business, investors can look at the company from a wider perspective as shareholders move away from using just financial statements to understand the company. This helps investors to understand the company and its prospectus even better. As shareholders move away from taking a short-term to a long-term decision-making approach, the time frame that investors make the decision would be stretched. With a longer time frame, investors can make better investment decisions, helping them to allocate the monetary resources even more effectively. In addition, by understanding the company from a 360 view, it would help the business to bridge the trust between investors and business as now the investors can know more about the business, not just on the financial information itself, but the entire corporate culture, its value in the long run. Furthermore, integrated reporting helps the company to move away from looking at just information that are material to the reader itself. Now companies have to also think and look at which aspects of the information are material to the company itself. Then, investors will match the aspects that are both material to the investors and the company to judge if these aspects are properly managed to determine if the company has been effectively managed. Finally, as integrated reporting disclose the different aspects such as financial, social and performance information, this helps to improve the transparency of a company's social responsibility and help to reflect how a company creates its social value through its operations over time. As social value is one of the six values that would be considered in the integrated report, companies would start to divert more resources to create more social value. This might help companies to move towards having a more sustainable company operation. In a whole, it can help society to slowly shift towards sustainable development. In conclusion, integrated reporting helps the company to better identify their risk and opportunity and help shareholders to move away from short-term decision-making that results in short-term pessimism. During the process, companies and shareholders can also better allocate their resources more effectively. Integrated reporting would also benefit the society in the long run as companies will start to have more emphasis on creating social value 
as social value is one of the six aspects that will be considered in the integrated report. Integrated report helps to benefit companies, shareholders and society as a whole to move and support the development of the future model of business we should start to appreciate and place more emphasis on integrated reports. Thank you for your kind attention.